I'm confident that we are really, we're really <laughs> grow this blah blah blah. Graduate. <laughs> Carbonites Gaming. Hello, Knights, and welcome back. Turns out it did um, get rid of our save files. I might leave that in the end of the last episode, but I haven't added it yet. So I don't That's know. true. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're back here after Sayori's incident, and uh, yeah. Monica's here now. And Crazy. she's talking about our member. Yeah, yeah. She's, <laughs> she's all about the member. Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, my dude. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh. I mean, I guess so, but. <laughs> in that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I mean, I could do you, like, a small favor four or five times. Yeah. yeah that does it for you. Might not reach the end, but I'll bang the shit out of the sides. <laughs> you definitely is out in this playthrough before. <laughs> oh, it's still funny every time. <laughs> I won't ask you to join, but if you do, I'll touch your penis. <laughs> <laughs> if you could at very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please. <laughs> um... I love it when you use your sexy voice. <laughs> well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I even refuse someone, ever refuse someone like Monica? She sounds like a fucking drug dealer. Yeah, sounds like she ate a drug dealer. That's true. And he fought his way down. <laughs> While smoking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure, I guess I could check it out. Ah, awesome. <laughs> You're really sweet, my dude, you know that? It's nothing, really. Shall we go then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important than construction paper? I would sure as hell hope so. Oh, well, I don't know, markers are pretty important. Oh, yeah, because you can sniff them and they, sometimes they smell like blueberries. Yeah, or chloroform. Ooh. <laughs> Is that why I keep passing out of your house? <laughs> And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible <laughs> smile. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. <laughs> I'm back! <laughs> that's, that's why there was no animation at the start. Yeah. They had to save it for the glitchy part. <laughs> And I brought the guest with me! Jesus, I wasn't expecting that one. Hey! Uh, a guest! Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Oh god, don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, my dude! Dot dot dot! All words escape me in this situation. This club! It's full of incredibly cute girls! <laughs> Wait, I think there could be another one. Is she in the closet, maybe? <laughs> yeah. So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? If I play my cards right. Whoa! <laughs> no, I'm not! Uh. Natsuki! The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. If we have to read any goddamn poems in this, I think we might skip them. Yeah. And this is Yuri, the vice president. Oh, moving on up, are you, Yuri? How'd you get that job? <laughs> Maybe she told Sayori to do it. Maybe. She wanted her position. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who... God damn it! We worked so hard to get Yuri, and now we got to start again. Ah, uh, that's true. Yuri, who appears comparatively more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran into my dude in a classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Decided and persuaded are two different... I mean... She just had to look at him. Wait, Monica! Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? 
I was going to, well, you know, strip. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that. It just happened to, I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yes, and I have chocolate in my backpack. We'll get to that later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, my dude? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens up the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. Oh, we didn't even get to choose that time. I think last time we had to choose between Sayori and someone, maybe. I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember either. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here. True. But we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? Oh, I got the burps. <laughs> As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. That was me. Whatever. <laughs> it must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that they're, you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. You need to stop right now talking about that festival. Yeah. I'm confident that we are really, we're really <laughs> grow this blah blah blah. Graduate. <laughs> <laughs> right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. My dick. <laughs> <laughs> Monica must have worked really hard to, to find just these two. To just find these two. Whatever. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. I've seen this part before. <laughs> <laughs> After all this, walk up to you, make everything, enjoy a good book, etc. Yeah, I guess. Hey, <laughs> don't let yourself get intimidated. Yours is trying to impress you. <laughs> That's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> 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 well, tea and reading might not be a pastime. Might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly <laughs> smiles to herself in relief. So, my dude, what kinds of things do you like to read? Oh, uh, well... I have no idea. <laughs> considering how little I've read in the past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. <laughs> Manga. <laughs> I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. That Suki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. I love that part. <laughs> no, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that could change. What am I saying? What am I saying? Who's saying that? <laughs> 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 it's even harder to read when I'm trying to go real fast. I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what are you? What about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. See, fantasy worlds. Yeah, nailed it. <laughs> the little creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story, etc. Yuri goes on, here. clearly passionate about her reading. She seems very reserved. So reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in a world of books, not people. By the way, Knights, if you want to see most of this dialogue, you should have watched from the goddamn start. And by doing that, you can like and subscribe. Yes. Beer. Because we love you. To subscribe and like. And also hit that freaking bell. Apparently, they're not just sending, they don't just send videos out to all your subscribers like everybody thought. What the hell is the bell? The bell's like, so you get the notification, but apparently they don't even send it to everybody that way either. They basically admitted it now. Sons anyway. Of uh, but you know, I like a lot of things. Nice helmet, Mickey Mouse! Stories <laughs> 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 of these psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Uh, uh, isn't it amazing how a writer can deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Horror? Oh, I read a horror book once. It scared shit out of me. I'd have to grasp something <laughs> I can relate to at a minimum level. 
At this rate, you might might as well have been having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> if you're smell, etc. I think we did that before. <laughs> I'd expect that from you, Yuri. Uh, <laughs> it suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Wait, that might be different. She said that the horror books suit her personality. Everyone seemed surprised by it the first time, didn't they? I don't think so. You, that was okay. that was a long time. Yeah, I know. I don't remember either. I mean, it was a month since the last time we recorded. <laughs> yeah. And one of the characters was still alive. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful cha at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. You, I could tell just by your pink hair. I would assume... That pink hair means you're not into horror. I like tentacle porn. I don't want to assume anything about your... <laughs> Again, it took a second. I'm a little slow today. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... That's his eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Fuck you. You little peanut. <laughs> what? What gives you that idea? Everything you've ever written. <laughs> Don't say it out loud. Oh yeah, I guess I kind of had to read that. Oh well, whatever. Who cares? She had a scrap of paper with a poem name on it. And give that back. Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? Because I'm a very caring person. I don't care. I think that's impressive. Unless it's haikus, because anyone can write a haiku, really. I mean, five seven five done. I saw a uh, haiku about uh, Mario Kart. Fucking hilarious. Do you remember it? No, but it had something to do with the blue shell. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking blue shells, man. <laughs> Why don't you share them sometime? Uh, no. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Of course I wouldn't. We've been over this. We yeah. hated them. It's true, you suck. Ah, not a very confident writer yet, eh? I understand how Natsuki feels. I have purple hair. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have any writing experience too, Yuri? Or something? <laughs> Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Da da da! <laughs> I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Probably at a point in the story where Sayori would be talking. Hey, I just got an idea. Everybody take off your pants. I know they're all wearing skirts. <laughs> <laughs> How about this? Da da da! Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write the poem of our own no. about communism again. <laughs> <laughs> then next time we meet, etc. That way everyone is even. Hmm. Da da da. Ah. I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Maybe not so much. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I did decide to take on the responsibility of Vice President, after all. And I take that responsibility seriously. If Monica was to ever die in a tragic accident, then I would be President. <laughs> That's probably what's going to happen next. Yuri's killing them all. Well, she doesn't funny. care about Natsuki because she fakes That's she fakes fights with Natsuki because they're secretly vying to rule the world. Yeah. I they need have to do my best hair. to nurture the club as well as its members. Nurture my balls. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, Natsuki. <laughs> Besides, now we have a new member, and that member has a member. <laughs> Swollen members. Oh, I love that. They have a YouTube channel. Do they? Yeah. They also used to have a lot of CDs and yeah. music. Remember that song you did with Nelly Furtado? No. That was a good one. I used to always listen to it when I played UO. Oh. It seems like a good step for us to take. It's called Breathe. Maybe called Breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Do you agree as well, my dude? <laughs> Hold on, there's still one problem. Hey, hey, what's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come out, come forth, 
with what's been on my mind the entire time. Where's Sayori? <laughs> <laughs> I never said I joined the club, but I knew that was coming. Yeah. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um, I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. B but I'm sorry. I thought. Get the fuck out. Oh, humph. Eh? <laughs> the girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, my dude. The thing is, we don't have enough members to form an official club. Yeah, they needed five before. Uh, They're changing all the rules. Uh, oh, yeah. We need four. I knew it. And next time, after Yuri kills Monica, Yuri will tell us they only need three. Yeah. And I've been trying really, really hard to find the new members. And if we don't find one more member before the festival, we'll have to kill a small child. As a sacrifice. Yep. Probably Natsuki. So then they can do it over again. Yeah. I'm I'm defenseless against these girls. Except for Natsuki, I'm pretty sure I could take her. She's five foot one. That's true, yeah. How am I supposed to make a clear headed decision when it's like this? I feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls? Right. Okay, I've decided then. Maybe next year. <laughs> <laughs> I'll join the literature club. Going to the anime club. Man, I just, I just had deja vu. Yeah. 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 For like the last ten minutes. It's like I've joined this club before. <laughs> one by one, the girls' eyes light up. <gasps> They're robots. <laughs> oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, my dude? Yeah. I'm pretty I'm pretty much the shit. <laughs> it could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left after all this, I'd be super pissed. I don't even think we got cupcakes this time. No, we didn't. <gasps> There'll be no more food because Sayori's not there. They don't have a fucking garburator to feed all the time. Uh, this game is just getting worse. What the fuck happened? My dude, I'm so happy. My panties, they're soaked. <laughs> <laughs> we can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. Well, I mean, I don't want to brag. <laughs> I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? We're going after Monica this time. No. no. We have to stay on the Yuri path. Okay. Ah, thanks, I guess. No, but we already saw... Shouldn't we go after one of the other ones? Because we saw... I think we saw the Yuri stuff. I don't know if you can actually bed them. Or, like, if you can get any further with them than that. Hitting your head on them? Well... That's as far as you well, can. Well, I think... I, th I, would, I, th I would think the, right, the festival is probably when everything happens, right? Like, I'm guessing every time there's a festival... Something happens. Well, this is, uh... We can skip through quick. I've been going fast. <laughs> okay, everyone. <laughs> I think that with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remembers tonight's assignment. Write a poem. Got it. Monica looks over to me once more. Don't forget to write a fucking poem. <laughs> 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 yeah. I can really... Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? No. We'll find out. I already feel like the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay, <laughs> I didn't mean to go quick there. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. So, wait, wait, wait. Who are we chasing this time? Well, we can decide when we get to the first poem to write. But I don't want to wait till the first poem. We need to decide now. Well, we, I think we, we going... saw the Yuri stuff. Should we see the Natsuki stuff or the Monica stuff? Well, Natsuki sucks. That's true. So should we work to getting her killed at the next festival? Can we do that? I don't know. I honestly don't know what happened. I don't know if Sayori's the only one that dies or if, like... I don't know. Well, Natsuki doesn't seem like she's as troubled. True, but neither did Sayori at the start. Oh, no, she did, yeah. At the start? Well, there was a lot of compensation. Like, yeah. yeah. She okay. was compensating for a lot. But, like, can you go down a different path? Or is it all the same with per I person? I don't think so. I think it's the same per person. I would guess. But, I mean, people love this game. They play it over and over, so maybe not. Yeah. But, I don't want to risk going down the exact same stuff with Yuri, because then everyone's already seen that, right? That's true. 
So, and I think, I don't know. All right, I have an idea. Yeah. So, let's... And I don't think we if we can do Monica in the little poem thing, maybe we go for her? Because oh, if not, yeah. then we'll just have Matt yeah, because it won't be a choice. Yeah, we couldn't go for Monica last time. All right, yeah. here's, here's the plan. Let's end this episode here. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, Knights, in the comments, leave who you think we should go for. And it's not really going to matter because we're going to start up the next episode in <laughs> five minutes. Say, but gonna... <laughs> we just want you to you to put your two cents in <laughs> so we know who you wanted so that we can kind of ignore it. Like, I'll, I'll be 100% truthful. We just want comments. No one ever says the yeah, damn thing. Yeah, say comments. I don't care. Give, like, a thumbs up. That's all. That's <laughs> all I want. Just tons of thumbs up. Hey, thanks for sticking around till the end. We appreciate you watching every one of our videos and... If you want to get a hold of us outside of YouTube, all of our social media links are in the description below. If you want to become a knight, why don't you go ahead and click on that subscribe button. And as always, keep those shields up.